Off of that, let's talk about Lane Kiffin real quick. And who, boy, I have wanted to talk about this on the show. Felt like it wasn't our place to even discuss it because the rumors were so outlandish. I mean, so ridiculous. Because uh, they have been going on on the message boards for a long, long time. And now that Kiffin has actually jumped in on them, like now I feel like it's okay for us to, to hit this up, right? Um, there was a, a tweet that kind of summed up exactly what this rumor was, and there's a bunch of variations of it and whatever else. But the tweet said, I heard Kiffin done knocked up an ex-Ole Miss cheerleader whose father just so happens to be an Ole Miss professor. The other variation of this was it was a football staffer, a female football staffer, whose dad is an Ole Miss professor, but also like a really big booster, like big money, you know, whatever. All kind of stuff. Now, the there's another uh, part of this. It says Kiffin got a 24-year-old female pregnant. Of course, Ole Miss was trying to keep it undercover, but the female, uh, who is a possible student, from my understanding, who is also sleeping with Kiffin, found out and put it on blast. Like, he was sleeping with two different women, whatever. Um, so Kiffin jumps back on this, and he actually tweets about it. And he tweets the guy with the first rumor. He said, the best part of this rumor is the usage of done, knocked up. He said, some people, and put his the hand over his face thing. I love this. I You would never get another coach on the planet to respond to this crap. And yet here he is, he just diving right into the mud with him, and that's where he lives. That's what he's good at. This was absolutely fantastic because I wanted to bring it up last week. I didn't think it was a good. I didn't think it was right for us to actually talk about it. But now that he's brought it up, uh, what do you think about this? I I think they're. I, I think if they're twenty four years old, then they're consenting adults. Well, yes, okay. absolutely. And and now now if the one is a football staffer, it, you have an employer employee situation. Some people have that. Some people don't. As long as the relationship is disclosed to you know the proper you know, whatever, then, then that's fine. If he's sleeping with multiple girls, I don't, as long as, as everything is consensual, I don't care. I don't Agreed. care. These are, these are adults. Let adults do what adults want to do. I don't understand. There's hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of rich old guys, nailing young girls. There are probably thousands of them happening <laughs> right now in our country. <laughs> Nobody cares, but, if you're a football coach, we all give a shit. Well, like, you're if, if you're a football coach and it's somebody that's either working for you or is like a student at the school, then it becomes a bit of an issue now, because there's an the ethical is a love situation. thing. Like, no, hang on, no, no, this okay. is an ethical thing. You just because you're a student at the school, just because you're a student at the school, how does that have anything to do with it? Well, because he's an authority figure at the school, like he's a. No, 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 no. He is not their authority figure unless Agreed. it's somebody in the football staff room. Okay. No, because there's, and you go to some of these college campuses, you got like, you know, Central Florida, it's a hundred thousand students. You mean, you mean there's 50,000 women in Orlando if you're the head football coach that you can't nail? Come on. No. <laughs> No, they're 18, they're adults, as long as they don't work for you. And if they work for you, as long as your bosses and employers know about the relationship and everything's on the up and up, they're not getting fair treatment. They're not, you know, that they're not getting paid more than somebody else. All of this stuff. I find the, the rumors funny that her dad is a professor, but he's also a booster. Yeah. You know what professors yeah. make? Like this, this has to be somebody with old money if he's a big booster. Yes. Because yes. that's not how professors work at state schools, baby. No, you 100% right about that. It, it, it did Those crack guys me Those might up. make six figures and six figures, ain't, and that's that's top of the food chain, and six figures ain't big time booster in it. Yeah, it, it's not enough to, uh, it's not enough to even pay like a good football player. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's right. There's going to be an offensive lineman that's going to make more than that professor this year at Ole Miss. 100%. 100%. Uh, it did crack me up, though. I absolutely loved seeing it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.